Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over some of the best cards for every price range in Hockey Ultimate Team. We're going to talk about the cards under 10,000 coins and the cards all the way up to 250,000. I need to mention guys that obviously before consoles, the console and markets are going to vary. However, it's a pretty good guideline. I play on PS5 just for the heads up. Guys, if you want to check me out, watch me live. I go live every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern time and join the Discord. Link is down below. All right, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to start things off with the under 10,000 coin bracket and we've got the 83 Johnny Gaudreau for 7,000 coins. The reason why I like this card is obviously under 10,000 coins you're looking for speed. You can really forego all of the other metrics that you want to look at like size and shot and really hand stats or all that kind of stuff. But Johnny Goudreau with 91 speed, 91 acceleration, and a mid-80 shot checks off a lot of boxes for anyone that's just starting out a team. Obviously, in his own zone, he is going to be a massive liability. But nonetheless, when you're just starting out your team, speed is what you want to prioritize first. And this Johnny Goudreau card's a very good one for 7,000 coins. Next, for about 5,000 coins, you can grab the 83 base Taylor Hall. This has been a great card since the launch of the game. And now, because of all the new cards coming out, his price has tanked quite a bit. He's got Thief which is a great synergy in my opinion. Very easy to activate with 90 speed, 89 acceleration, and a mid-80 shot. And he's six foot one, so a little bit better in terms of size than Johnny Goudreau. This, again, is one of the better cards you can get right when you start your team. I've got him on my free-to-play team. I'd recommend you guys do as well. And then lastly, we've got the 82 Eric Carlson with Distributor activated. The caveat here is he needs to have Distributor activated to be worth it. He's going for, you know, uh, 1,500 coins. It's just an awesome value early on defensemen are so hard to come by for cheap in this game with 89 speed 87 acceleration and a shot above 80 in terms of accuracy and power you're laughing so again this is a card that i would make sure that you get immediately as a free-to-play team and uh, you'll have a you'll have a decent one for a little while as you look to build out your defense moving on to the 10,000 to 25,000 coin bracket we've got the 84 quinn hughes obviously his master item came out with the halloween event but his base card is just extremely cheap for his value. 15,000 coins, you get 90 speed, 90 acceleration, mid-80 shot. His hand stats are almost touching 90. And booming shot can help out with the slap shot power as well. I wouldn't really activate elite edges. But again, this is a very good card to pair on the other side with Eric Carlson. Or someone bigger if you've got Seth Jones, something like that. A bigger defenseman. Having someone that has enough speed is key. Again... When you're early on and you're building your team, you can sacrifice some size uh, or shooting to make sure that you've got fast players, especially on the back end. There is not a lot of them. And Quinn Hughes for 15,000 coins, in my opinion, is a very good buy. Next up for 16,000 coins, we've got the 85 Steven Stamkos, the base one with 89 speed, 90 acceleration, and high 80s shooting. A slap shot power touches 90. His hand stats are all above 88, basically. It's a very good right-handed winger card, and you can actually play him at center if you want to. I'm not big on right-handed centermen, but at 16,000 coins, again, early on when you're making your team, these are the kind of cards that you really want to go after. There's so many Steven Stamkos on the market because he's just, I don't know, one of the more common ones to pull. And if you get his X Factor, you can throw it in but I, I would they wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that however his uh like I said his base card definitely worth it at 16,000 coins then lastly for under 25,000 coins we've got the 84 Matthew Barzal the only downfall here is that you probably can't use him at center but he is basically the Steven Stamkos for 15,000 coins 91 speed 90 acceleration that mid 80s shot hand stats are all in the high 80s as well defensively is a little bit worse only 76 body checking but again you can't go wrong with Matthew Barzal early in this game and if you're again just starting your team out you want to make Make sure you grab him for your right-handed wingers. All right, now on to the 25,000 to 50,000 coin bracket. We've got the 86 Nikita Kucherov. Uh, again, a very good left-handed winger card early in the game. 35,000 coins, 89 speed, 90 acceleration. His wrist shot accuracy touches 91. All of his hand stats are above 90. Again, just an extremely good card. He has been one of my favorite cards early on in the game. And for only 35,000 coins, you can get a very, very good winger that can help you out on that left on that right side. Again, guys, a lot of these cards I've spoken about in the past, but their values have tanked even more because the more events have come out. The 86 David Pasternak essentially is the right-handed version of Kucherov. 91 speed, 91 acceleration. His wrist shot actually gets up to 92. His hand stats are all 92. Very, very good card. And Protector I actually kind of like as a synergy. He's got plus two to slap shot accuracy and defensive awareness goes up by four if you're able to get it activated. He's going for about 37,000 coins. Under 40 is still a very good buy in my opinion. And again, if you do pack his X-Factor, under 40k is, is fine value because you can just throw him right into the X-Factor, the final version. And then lastly, for under 50,000 coins, there hasn't been very many, but I saw 
going up for 49,000, so just keep an eye out. This 86 master set Nick Suzuki with Thief. Again, I love Thief as a synergy. Heart and Soul, you're really not going to activate, but Quick Draw as a superstar ability is nice if you have Thief activated and put him on at center. It's a very, very nice uh, combo. 90 speed, 91 acceleration, high 80 shooting. Just a very, very well-rounded card that you can put on the wing or at center, so I'd be on the lookout if he drops under 50,000 coins. I think you're laughing, and I would definitely pick him up at that point. Moving on to the 50 to 100,000 coin bracket. We've got the 84 Pat LaFontaine, and this is the first alumni card I'm going to recommend. Alumni cards are taking a massive hit, guys, with all of the upgrades to X Factors and the new events that come out. Icons are sort of being left, uh, just left behind because now no longer are they better than the base cards or anything like that, and they do have a cost to upgrade. However, this Pat LaFontaine right out of the gate 89 speed, 89 acceleration is awesome. He's got mid to high 80 shooting. Same with his hand stats. And I do like the off the rush uh, superstar ability as well. Wheels I would not recommend. However, the reason why I recommend Pat Lafontaine, uh, he's going for under 70,000 coins. But if you spend the 25 or one power up collectible, to get him all the way up and then do or another two to go him all the way to tier three. He's got 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 wrist shot accuracy. Just a very, very good card in my opinion and unlocks bombarded. So uh, I, again, I just like that combination. And guys, the, the, the icons that have over 90 skating are a lot safer than some of the other ones that are going to be left behind. You have to remember at the first of every month, they are going to get a plus one. And because Pat LaFontaine, when he went from 85 to 86, he will get a 91 speed when it comes to December. So just keep that in mind. I think that this is actually a sneaky buy if he gets in between, you know, 60,000 coins. I think I like it a lot. Next, we've got the base Nathan McKinnon, six foot, 200 with 87 overall, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. If you have Bombarded activated, it makes his slap shot that much better. Just a very well-rounded card, and the fact he's only going for 75,000 coins is an added bonus, because if you do pack his X-Factor card, you can save some coins by throwing this card right in to get his uh, Tier 7 card unlocked. This is a very good card. I use him uh, on my... On my pay-to-win team, <laughs> and uh, he's extremely good. So I would look out for Nathan McKinnon for 75,000 coins. Lastly, we've got the 86 Seth Jones. He's going for about 77,000 coins. This is the most I would pay for him. There's just not a lot of great defensemen uh, in this price range. So Light the Lamp, I do enjoy, and Bombarded helps out his slap shot as well. He's just a very good combination of size at 6'4", 88 speed, and a good slap shot, which you just do not find early on in the game. I think that you could use him for quite some time. Again, defensemen are much more difficult to come by than forwards and this Seth Jones just checks off all the boxes right now. All right, moving on to the 100 to 250,000 coin bucket. We've got for 115,000 coins base Connor McDavid. You need to not forget about base Connor McDavid, guys, as he is just f tanking in price right now. Uh, a lot of the new prime times and team of the week cards that Connor's going to get as he's the best player in the world and he's absolutely insane. His base card still has a ton of value. This is almost an end game card alone. 94 speed, 94 acceleration and a high High 80s, low 90s shooting. It's just you do not find this at all really in the game. Even though he doesn't really have good superstar abilities or synergies at all, it really doesn't matter. This could be your first line, you know, left-handed winger for the majority of the game. I would make sure that you try and grab him. He is the first card that I would target with a lot of coins. Uh, as a free-to-play player, if you are looking to make your first big buy, this 89 Connor McDavid is a very good price for what he what he delivers. Next is the X Factor on Zay Kopitar. Now, I don't recommend a lot of X Factors right now, just because we're getting to that point where they cost so much, and they are starting to cost way more just because new tiers are unlocking. But on Zay Kopitar right now is going for about 165,000 coins on PS5. So if you find him in around that range, I do think it's a good buy, and here's why. First of all, his speed is only 85, but he does have distributor. The thing is, is that he plays center, which is a lot less dependent on speed. You want bigger players, and you can sacrifice some speed for some other things if you are using a centerman. Because uh, again, you're not you're, you don't want to be breaking the puck out with your centerman uh, down the boards or anything like that. He's uh, kind of your outlet, right? He's got unstoppable force, which is a very very good superstar ability, and quick pick is one of the best zone abilities you can have. So he's just an extremely well rounded card. He has magician as well, which can get his agility up to make him feel a little less stiff. And his last tier. That just happened uh, that he did unlock. He got 85. He's stuck at 85 speed. So his next tier upgrade will increase his speed only by one. But then we're at, you know, 88. 
And just with the size, shot, zone abilities, very, very good. And he will only go up, in my opinion. I think he'll go well over 200 once he gets his next tier. It could be a while, but just be on the lookout. I think this is a sneaky buy. And then lastly, we've got the 88 Victor Hedman. Much like Seth Jones, you just don't want to forget about this card. He's going for about 125,000 coins with Workhorse and Magician. Workhorse obviously makes him a little bit better in terms of acceleration. Quick Pick is a phenomenal superstar ability as well. I don't activate Heat Seeker. I don't think it's worth it. But again, you can't really improve size. Like there, There's no way that that attribute goes up. 86 speed is the lowest I would go, but the ability to defend the blue line with him is so good. And if you pair him with someone like, you know, Kale McCarr, someone like that that's fast, you're laughing. He's just extremely good in his own zone. One of the best defensemen currently in the game. And for 130,000 coins, I think that that's a solid price. Again, you can't really teach size. So, All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. 1 p.m. Eastern time, twitch.tv slash no sleeps 12. I hope to see you there. Have a good one, guys.